Okay, we're going to talk about setting up a uh, thingamabobber strike indicator system. We tried to do this with some mono and Dacron and all kinds of stuff and it just doesn't show up well on film. So everybody's familiar with these thingamabobbers. If you're not, they're the greatest strike indicator that's ever been invented. A couple different ways to set them up. Um, and I'm going to show you my preferred way. Um, here is the not preferred way, in my opinion, but very easy to do and definitely works. Uh, here is the fly line end, um, and this is your tapered leader, loops right on, or maybe this is your butt section, doesn't matter, and then you've got your, your entire nine feet to your fly. Uh, you can simply throw a loop in here, affix the thingamabobber, and over the top goes the mono, and then you have your thingamabobber mid leader um, and your fly down here and this is this is your depth that's the uh, overhand method where you actually push the uh, the loop section through the thingamabobber on your leader but we're going to talk about something um, I think that's more effective here uh, so um, this will be just not to scale because we're using this grease board here but same idea you've got your uh, loop there uh, and then I'm going to set up what's about three feet and instead of looping it on, I'm actually going to clinch knot my thingamabobber right there. Um, and so if that's three feet, I've just gone butt section, if you will, this is the butt end of the leader, um, and I've clinch knotted my thingamabobber right to there. So. Um, that's really easy to cast. It turns over great because it's so close to your line. And now I'm going to take, I'm going to consider this, if this is the, the bottom of the river, um, I'm going to consider this depth when I tie on my next step here. My next step is a straight piece of tippet material. If this is 30 pounds or so, or it could be, let's say, 30, 10, 10 to 30 pound mono is this section here. My next step is to tie on a straight piece of 3x tippet uh, at water's depth roughly you know I if I want to be all the way down here I'm gonna I'm gonna judge that this uh, this is tied on with a double surgeon's knot uh, right here and then it's that double surgeon is just looped and overhanded on um, so it's just it's just sliding really back and forth on this piece, although it doesn't tend to slide, it tends to just jam up against the thingamabobber because you're always casting it and things are always pulling that way. Um, you could just simply clinch knot on that piece of 3X. I like a loop there. I think the double rigidity that's here offers a little more stiffness and it doesn't tangle quite as much. Okay, so I've got three feet, I've got water's depth, I've got a fly down here. Uh, and if I want to put another fly on, I can either um, tie on at the bend or tie into the eye right here, which might even be better, uh, 12 to 18 inches. Um, and now I'm fishing two flies down here. Um, if I want to put a split shot on this system, I'm going to come up maybe uh, six inches. I'm going to tie a blood knot. Um, and at that point, I'll pinch my split shot on above that, that blood knot stopping it. Um, the advantage to this is sink rate. Because this is one straight piece of mono or fluorocarbon, hopefully, straight piece of floral mono, uh, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really dive through the column. It's going to cast mm, like a nymph system would. It's going to kind of flop over land, but it is going down in a hurry. With a tapered leader, you don't have that same sink rate. Um, if you go to 3x to this first fly and you go to 4x down here if this one hangs up you don't lose the entire rig the downside to this is you do tie a lot more knots rather than your tapered leader or the indicator just looped in if i want to change my depth i do have to, to put a whole new piece on theoretically but it, i just really think it fishes that much better it's well worth doing and that is your thingamabobber right angle nymphing system